From the USS John F. Kennedy to Louisiana Senator John Kennedy, from a command from Cliff Stoll to Richard Shelby losing control, our 100 esteemed United States Senators harnessed hundreds of years of political animosity to compete at the highest level of motorsports, Skip Barber Car Racing. Let's take a look at the most exciting moments of this year's event. Mark Kelly, Tom Tillis, and John Hickenlooper all won Senate elections in 2020, but the races at Road America didn't end quite so well. Mark Kelly, oh, Kelly and Tillis. Oh, oh, that's a big hit for Mark Kelly. Oh, John Hickenlooper, no! <laughs> John Hickenlooper, what are you doing, man? John Hickenlooper, more like John Chicken Pooper. But Mark Kelly's used to G-forces being an astronaut. After three completely clean oval races, the commentator's curse finally struck in heat four, causing a pileup in the middle of the field. Could we really go four heats without a crash in the 2021 Senate race on the ovals? It's a very real possibility. Oh, nope, there goes Marsha Blackburn. I jinxed it. Blackburn, McConnell, that's a lot of cars back there. We'll try and take a look at that when we can. Some ridiculous stuff. But while, oh my goodness, he, she hit Tim Scott and that just kicked everything off. We almost made it the whole way without a crash. We were lucky to have so many notable people agree to give us commands for this silly event, but I think we can all agree that the best command easily came from the one and only Robin Miller. And to give the command to start engines, please welcome a man who needs no introduction, Robin Miller. Okay, what's the toughest thing to do? The toughest thing to do is find somebody that's lazy enough to race on a computer that, without doing anything. What better candidates than U.S. Senators? They do nothing and get paid for it. They do it 12 months a year. So, with that in mind, all you deadbeat mothers, start your engine. Our House of Commons exhibition race didn't get off to the best start, with historic Labor MP Diane Abbott causing a four-car pileup one corner into the road race. As Lindsey Hoyle is able to sweep around the outside and hold the lead. But, oh, Diane Abbott! Diane Abbott spins! The highest-rated driver in the race has spun around. Did anybody hit her back there? I think Dominic Robb, Pete Wishart, Matt Hancock. All right, lap one, Diane Abbott just went wide, spun on the grass, and Dominic Robb, oof. Oh, and then Matt Hancock, oof, that's a, that's disgusting. Disgusting levels of driving. Disgusting levels of avoidance. That's a pile up and a half. Proving that even qualifying isn't safe for these Senators, finalist John Cornyn decided to one-up Mark Kelly by having the biggest crash of the event at the kink. John Cornyn and Jack Reed got into a little bit of bother. Bonk! That's one of the biggest crashes we've seen in the whole Senate race. Whee! Well, it was kind of both of their faults, but... Because for some reason, Reed was like, I will turn back. Clearly not looking in his mirrors, and he just turns in. Whoop! There we go. Up, run over. Flippity floppity. Upside doppity. Jack Reed barely even saw what happened until it happened, and you see Cornyn flip flopping. There's a little bit of a crass criss cross there that ended in the crest. After a spirited fight for the win for the first two and a half laps of the Heat 2 road race, lap traffic threatened to rob James Lankford of a dominant victory. As the lap cars seem to be shuffling around, as a couple drivers seem to be coming back into the pits for some reason, but there's the lap cars! I, are they getting blue flags? Is this going to rob James Lankford of the race? Mike Crapo sneaks through Martin Heinrich. I think that screwed up James Lankford. That definitely slowed him down, but can Mike Crabbo take advantage? He's going to go to the outside. Will he be able to sweep around the outside here at Canada Corner? Will it be Crapo? Will it be Lankford? Will it be Cotton if they come together? Oh, Mike Crabbo goes wide. Mike Crapo. That was his chance, and he did not take advantage of it. An action-packed sequence of corners in the House of Commons road race saw, among other things, Sir Keir Starmer channel his inner Dale Earnhardt with a pass on the grass. But pretty Patel, oh, oh, Michael Gove just got spun by Eleanor Lang. The minister for the cabinet office and the deputy speaker, two conservatives, come together as Keir Starmer tries to pass Jeremy Corbyn on the grass. These guys are insane. It as worked. It did work, and pretty Patel goes to the outside of Lindsay Hoyle. She's further ahead than she was last time. She is able to sweep around the outside. Lindsay Hoyle. A little bit of an overcorrection on the inside. That allows Pretty Patel 
The home secretary at home in the lead. An iffy start to race one of the finals for Hoven almost ends in disaster, while Bernie Sanders' race does end in disaster. Can he sweep around the outside of Brian Schatz here? No! John Hoven makes a mistake. He is able to sweep around the outside, but he lost a lot of momentum there. He is desperate. As Bernie Sanders is off! Tom Cotton gets turned into the wall. That's a melee back there. As Schatz and Lummis are going side by side, that's going to slow them down and allow John Hoven to start pulling away. Yeah, be, oh, it was all Tom Cotton, and then Bernie just ran into Tom Cotton. Bonk! Straight into the wall. Cotton ends up in the wall as well. Very disappointing way to start Bernie Sanders' Senate race. Sir Lindsay Hoyle and Pretty Patel were locked in battle for the entirety of the House of Commons road race, but it was Hoyle who held on to victory with an aggressive defense at Canada Corner. Through the back straight for the final time. Pretty Patel goes to the outside. Pretty Patel is going to go for the outside move into Canada Corner, and she's almost clear of Lindsay Hoyle as we get there. Hoyle later on the brakes. Patel turns in. Oh, they make contact a little bit. Hoyle shoves Wish or not Wish Art Patel out of the way, and Sir Lindsay Hoyle muscles his way to hold the lead, and that's how you win a race. Maybe a little aggressive, maybe a little bit of contact made, but everyone's still rolling. Before we get to our number one pick, straight out of Watch Mojo, here's a couple honorable mentions. Who is going to get it at the line? Will it be Shelby? Will it be Bozeman? Can Schumer do anything on the high side? I don't think he can. Oh, can he? He can! Chuck Schumer! Chuck Schumer pulls it out. Cynthia Lummis, the rookie. Brian Schatz and John Thune. Three wide into turn four. Is this going to end well? Oh, that's going to be tight. Oh, Thune and Lummis. Lummis hits Schatz, but I think she's okay. As Lindsey Hoyle sneaks through the middle. He almost hits Boris Johnson. That, look at that! That's ridiculous! No, Hoyle no, and Johnson! That is absolutely ridiculous how did they get away with that we said before the final oval race that the only way to beat john hoven would be to crash him out tom cotton tried to take that literally but hoven got extremely lucky and was able to keep it rolling to an eventual victory john hoven looking for a way through the middle will he find it no tom cotton hits john hoven cotton hits hoven and that's is that bernie sanders out of the race or is that who is that? Is it Hirono? It's Maisie Hirono. Maisie Hirono's out of the race, but Brian Schatz has taken the lead. John Hoven is still rolling somehow. Absolute calamity in the Senate race finals.